Uh, pretty big change is budding at the state capitol. Lawmakers are debating how soon marijuana could start to be legally grown to ensure that dispensaries have enough of a supply. Right now, retail sales probably won't happen until early next year. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan is in St. Paul to explain how lawmakers plan to balance supply and demand. Possessing recreational marijuana is legal in Minnesota, but technically it's still not allowed to be grown here or sold here, at least until 2025. Advocates and business owners on Tuesday warning lawmakers there's too much that needs to happen soon to meet that goal. The current current uh, rules that we have right now, they're just not instilling a lot of confidence in us business uh, owners. What's being proposed now is to move quicker in breaking the barriers between medical and recreational pot, giving more power sooner to the new Office of Cannabis Management, and issuing temporary licenses to grow and sell marijuana flowers later this year. It is a critical step towards ensuring that social equity applicants, those have been that most adversely affected by previous cannabis laws are given a fair and fighting chance. The DFL-led Senate seems poised to approve the changes, but final action on any bill could hit speed bumps because of the drama surrounding Nicole Mitchell. She's the DFL lawmaker from Woodbury accused of burglarizing her stepmother's home. For the second time in two days, Mitchell was the deciding vote to stave off Republican efforts to limit her powers. Mitchell denies the charges. We do want to regain their trust and we do want to uphold the integrity of this body. I can't believe this. It's a kangaroo court kind of atmosphere. We have to do it now. We can't wait for the courts. By the way, in the state of Minnesota, there are laws and rules on the books about conflicts of interest. A lawmaker voting on a resolution or motion having to do with his or own conduct and responsibilities. But according to the Senate president today, those rules self-enforced. In St. Paul, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News.